So my Christmas fabric has finally arrived and I'm going to make these pillowcases. So let me show you how I made those. I'm Madi with Madi Sews and welcome back. So as I mentioned earlier, I finally got the fabric that I had ordered to make my family some pillowcases. And I wanted to make sure that I showed you how to make them. They're actually pretty simple. Let's get to it. You're gonna need one fabric for the body of your pillowcase. This one is 44 inches um, high by 36 inches wide. And then you're also going to need another piece that is 10 inches by the width of your fabric, which is for me, this is 44 inches. And then you're gonna need a strip of fabric and that's going to be your accent piece. And this one is two inches wide by the width of your fabric, which is 44 inches for me. Okay, so I'm gonna insert here all of the sizes that you'll need to make either a standard or a king size pillowcase. Okay, so the first thing that I want you to do is I want you to iron this long accent strip, the two inch piece in half, so that way it has a nice folded edge. Next, take that cuff piece. In this case, this is my 10 inch by 44 inch piece. And I want you to take that nicely pressed piece and you want to put the raw edges together. So just line those up and pin them together. Okay, you can see at the end of my piece here, I actually have some overlap. I'm just going to go ahead and even this all out and cut off any of the edges that don't match up at the end. So my advice to you is don't get too crazy about it. If they're not lined up at the end, it's okay. We're going to do some trimming. After you have these two pieces pinned together, go ahead and take your big piece and line it up and you're gonna create like a little sandwich, right? So just line up the raw edges and pin those together again. And I'm just taking out the current pins and reinserting them. So that way all three of these pieces are lined up. Now that all of our raw edges are lined up, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna burrito roll this thing. So take that long piece of fabric that you have and start to roll it up. This doesn't have to be pre this doesn't have to be precise or anything. Just get it all rolled up and you don't want to catch that bottom edge. So you see here, I'm leaving that shorter cuff piece out there. Okay. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna pick up that bottom cuff piece that's right here, and we're gonna fold it over that burrito roll and we're gonna refix our pins. So that way now it has, how many layers? Five layers of fabric? One, two, three, four so that it has all five layers of fabric. Now you can see that I have this entire roll pinned. We are going to sew from one edge to, all the way down to the other in a quarter inch um, seam allowance. So go ahead and sew it up a quarter of an inch. Now that our little burrito roll is all sewn up, what we need to do is flip it inside out. And this is where the magic happens. So grab the inside, that little rolled up piece that we had from earlier. Flip down that little cuff edge and just pull it all out. And after it's all flipped, so the right sides are out, this is what it's gonna look like. You can see here, the top here is my cuff fabric. Then I have that little accent piece and then the main body of my fabric. And if you look at the other side, 
there are no exposed seams. So take this to your ironing board and give it a good press. Okay, so now that we have a really crisp, clean press on this, we're gonna clean up those edges. Now remember how I told you that my edges didn't quite match up? Well, I'm gonna go ahead and even those all up so that way they do match up. The extra bonus of cleaning this up after the fact is that you end up getting rid of any loose strings that might actually get caught in our French seams. Now that all of our edges are cleaned up, what I want you to do is fold your pillowcase so that it is wrong sides facing each other. So you want the right sides out. We're gonna French seam these things. So we are going to match up all of our edges and we're going to pin all the way across the long side. And then we're gonna pin across this bottom side as well. And then we're gonna sew that with a quarter inch seam allowance. Now that that's done, we're going to start at this end and we're going to sew right down the side of our pillowcase and then we're going to pivot and come down this side and we're going to sew it all in a quarter inch seam allowance. So we're close to the finish line. At this point, we've sewn our pillowcases together so that the right sides are on the outside. So now what we need to do is go in and trim off the excess seam allowance so that way we can do our French seams flip the pillowcases inside out and sew them again. So what we're gonna need to do is cut off half of the seam allowance. Be careful not to cut through your stitching. When you get to the corners here, just trim the corner so that it's at an angle like that. It'll help you flip it back over and get a nice point when you do flip it to the other side. Okay, now that it's all trimmed off, let's go ahead and flip our pillowcases to the wrong side. And make sure that you poke out those little corners as, as well as you can. So you have something like this at this point. Now what we're gonna do is we're going to fold at our seams again, and we're gonna pin this just like we did the other way. So try to get as close as you can to that actual fold and stick your pins in there. The reason why we went in and we cut away half of that seam allowance is because we're gonna need to come back in and sew on this side so that way you don't see any raw edges. You don't need a special machine to finish this. We're not gonna zigzag edges. This is called a French seam. If you're ever making anything with sheer material, French seams are really nice to use in that application as well. So go ahead and put your pins in on the sides that we've already sewn up on your pillowcase and sew that at another quarter inch seam allowance. Now that you've sewn your seams twice to make that French seam, let's flip our pillowcases so that they're the right side up. So poke out the edges the best that you can and your pillowcase is now ready for a final press. So there you have it. Now you have your magic pillowcase or your burrito roll pillowcase, whatever you want to call it. You have your cuff piece, you have a little accent strip, and then you have the main body. And when you look on the inside, you have absolutely no exposed seams. So these make beautiful gifts and hey, why not make a couple for yourselves? Make one for every holiday. <laughs> well, I hope that you make your own magic pillowcases. Thank you for joining me. My name is Madi. And I hope that you have a wonderful day. Bye.